March is nearly upon us, and that means another month of high-profile releases. We've been waiting on some of these games since their announcement at E3 2018, and they're finally upon us. So without further ado, let's take a look at the top games of March 2019. Left Alive Square Enix's Left Alive is one of the strangest releases of next month. It features the talents of Armored Core series director Toshifumi Nabashima, Metal Gear Solid character designer Yoji Shinkawa, and mech designer Takayuki Yanase. The focus is on survival, stealth, and third-person shooting, with three different protagonists to play with. Oh, and you can pilot mechs in some places. Despite all of that, Left Alive looks intriguing, and could provide some kind of update on the front mission universe. It's out on March 5th for PS4 and PC. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice it's not Dark Souls, it's not Bloodborne, it's not even Tenchu. From Software clarified that a full stealth playthrough isn't possible after all. So what is it? Set in a fantastical 16th century Sengoku, Japan, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is a combination of fast-paced combat, skillful swordplay, and wild cards like an axe and grappling hook hidden in a prosthetic arm. Sekiro takes us on a sprawling journey filled with intrigue and adventure. What horrors await though? And how does resurrection really work? We'll find out on March 22nd when it releases for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn a remake of Kirby's Epic Yarn, which launched for the Wii and pretty much kickstarted the yarn-based graphical style, Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn is coming to the Nintendo 3DS on March 8th. It'll have new modes, new power-ups, and even lets you play as Meta Knight and King DDD in different sub-games. Co-op has been removed, and having an awesome platformer with a lovable art style like this on the go works nicely. Dead or Alive 6 Team Ninja's Dead or Alive series has been fairly dormant since the design shift in Dead or Alive 5. Dead or Alive 6 continues that trend, offering even more gorgeous environments and sharp characters to go with new mechanics. Simple, devastating combos are possible with the Fatal Rush, and new break blows can be performed when the gauge is full. With 26 characters, a quest mode, story campaign, and the same dynamic gameplay as its predecessor, Dead or Alive 6 is looking to be an intriguing return for an iconic franchise. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 so Anthem was kind of meh, and Destiny 2 is kind of meh, but hey, at least The Division 2 is almost here. Moving from the snowy reaches of Manhattan to the overgrown and chaotic Washington, D.C., The Division 2 still offers some tight cover-based shooting and loot to collect, along with three Dark Zone districts and new civilian settlements that can be contributed to. There's also a significant focus on Endgame, with the Black Tusk faction, specializations with their own unique abilities and weapons, and invade missions that pose tougher challenges. The Division 2 arrives on March 15th for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Yoshi's Crafted World not one, but two cutesy platformers in March? We're fine with that. Yoshi's Crafted World from Goodfeel is coming to the Nintendo Switch on March 29th and sees the Yoshis on an adventure to restore the Sun Dream Stone. Though it's essentially a 2.5D platformer, the game mixes gameplay up by allowing objects in the background and foreground to be interacted with. The flip mechanic has been toned down since its initial reveal, and it's now more of an additional run through a level for collectibles. In its current demo, though, Yoshi's Crafted world is tons of fun, and we can't wait to dig into the final game. The Walking Dead, the final season, episode 4, take us back. It's been a turbulent ride for the final season of The Walking Dead. We're not just talking about the closure of Telltale Games or Skybound Entertainment stepping in to finish the last two episodes. The game itself has seen Clementine and AJ committing atrocities, doing their best to stay sane and survive while protecting their new home. With the fourth episode, Take Us Back, marking the end of Clementine's journey, will the series drag us back into the emotional pits of despair or provide a happy ending after all? One Piece, World Seeker. Jump Force may have fizzled, but One Piece World Seeker gives us hope. It's developed by Gambarian of One Piece Grand Adventure and Unlimited World Red, while the story takes us to Jail Island in the New World. Luffy and crew will be fighting in an open world space, while characters like Kisaru, Kuma, Smoker, and Akainu make appearances. If the bombastic action of the other games was any indication, expect One Piece World Seeker to be a blast. It arrives on March 15th for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. 
The Sinking City. Known better for its Sherlock Holmes games, Frogwares embarks into the realm of cosmic horror with The Sinking City. Inspired by H.P. Lovecraft's work, The Sinking City focuses on detective work and investigation. How certain quests are resolved will depend on the number of clues that players can suss out. The story sees private investigator Charles W. Reed looking into the cause of a flood that hits New England, driving everyone mad. Dare we say the one who lays dreaming is responsible? The Sinking City is out on March 21st for Xbox One. One, PS4, and PC. Devil May Cry 5 sees Dante and a new playable character, V, to set things right. Nero has obtained some significant upgrades like the Devil Breaker, an item capable of unleashing different abilities depending on the equipped prosthetics. It's out on March 8th for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Tropico 6 El Presidente never dies, and Tropico 6 may be his biggest caper yet. Tropico 6 provides an entire archipelago of islands to manage, instead of just one island. Research has been revamped, citizens are simulated in greater detail. Tropico 6 arrives on March 29th for PC. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, please hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to switch on the notifications bell icon next to it. That way you'll never miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching.